Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add a post to the featured content gallery. Um, this is going to be the post I want to add. <clears throat> I left off where I put in the image tag and I have to upload an image to the web server um, so I can point the tag to it. Um, if you don't have an image, you're going to have to go out and find one, so let me show you how to do that. I like to use a site called X. I'm sorry, sxc.hu. Um, it's a site where um, if you create a free account with them, you can uh, download and use their images for free on your sites. Um, you can also Google uh, free images and possibly find some other sites as well. Um, just make sure you always pay attention to the terms and conditions because some of them require you to credit the artist or provide a link back to the site. Also, one thing you never want to do is just go to Google Images and uh, do a search and swipe uh, photos from there because pretty much most of them are copyright protected. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is search for an image that's related to my topic. Okay, so I'll do a search for... Okay, also on this site, um, always on the first row, they link to another site where you have to buy photos. So just keep that in mind, you want to uh, move past the first row. Okay, uh, this looks like a good post or a good photo for the post I'm working on. Okay, most of the images on this site are pretty big, so we're going to have to size them down. First, I'm going to copy this to my hard drive. I'm going to rename it to something that describes the photo. I use a program called uh, Fireworks to uh, work on my images. So I don't know, know. Hopefully, what I'll show you will be similar to the uh, image program that you have. So I'm going to open the image that I just downloaded. Okay. The main two things I'm going to need to do is sometimes I need to use what's called the crop feature. Basically what this does, it, it'll it cut uh, some of the photo out if you want to. So if I just want this much of it, I can crop it, hit enter, and it'll take the rest of it out and size it down a little bit. Um, I don't think I'll quite need to do that on this picture here, but what I will need to do and another feature that's required is uh, resizing the image. So I'm going to go to modify the image size. Um, if I click on constrain proportions, it'll uh, proportionally adjust the horizontal portion as well as the vertical if you change one of the settings. Um, if we go back to the featured content gallery section. Basically the uh, settings are for the width is 590 pixels, uh, for the height is 400. So you want to make sure your image is no bigger than that. Um, let me come back to here and I'm going to change this to uh, the width should not be larger than 590s. Okay, maybe I'll make it a little smaller, about 500. That should be good. Okay, so here's my resized image. I'm going to save that. Okay, now we go back to the FTP program, which I showed you in the first video. Um, you want to go into your site ma manager and connect to the site you're working on. 
In this case, it's the amazing gift deal site that I'm working on right now. Okay. As I said, the right section is your web server. Um, the root directory is called public HTML, so you want to come here. And your images are appropriately stored in the images folder. Okay, so I come back here. You want to go to the folder where your edited image is located. Okay, here's the image I just worked on, so I'm going to simply drag it across from left to right. And it's done. So now I can come back to my post where I'm editing it and I can add the image. Said so girl.jpg was what it was called. Okay, sad girl.jpg is in the images folder. Images sad girl.jpg. Um, you want to click add custom field now. And you're done. Okay, if we go back to. I also need to find out which post ID this post is. Whoops. Darn it. Actually, I did not need to click on update post. Um, I need to go back to all the edited posts here. Okay, so this is the post I want to add. So the next step is to get the post ID, which will be will show up here when I hover my mouse over the post. Okay, so the post ID is post equals 21. Okay, so now I need to go back to the featured content gallery. Which is in your settings featured content gallery. Let me just make sure you can see that because I don't think that showed up in the last video. Okay, so under your settings, you want to go down to where it says Featured Content Gallery, which is this page here. And the post ID I'm adding is 21. I added 21. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick that at the end, but you could put it first, second, or third, or whatever, wherever you wanted it in, in the order. Come down to the bottom, click on Update Options. Okay, now if we refresh the site, um, that post should be added. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's my first featured post. Second, I'm gonna scoot this a little th third and alrighty, it's here. That's how you add a post to the featured content gallery. Oops, I clicked on it too late, so it's going to the magic of making up post. Missed it again. There we go. And here's the post. Okay, I guess I have time to uh, go over how to, uh, or at least begin the process of how you can make changes to these sections here as well.
Okay, next we're going to focus on these two sections here. Um, you have the, the left side of the column and then the right side of the column. You can control each of those. They're separate. But you want to make sure you always have the same amount of posts on each side. Um, you pretty much want these sections to be flush. It just looks a lot better. Let's see how I'm doing on time here. And what I'll probably do is, um, instead of just rambling on like I'm doing, I'll stop this video here, and uh, in the next video we'll we'll cover these two sections and possibly uh, the third section down here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.